I'm really passionate about the marine environment, especially here on the cooler southern shores, which is often overlooked, underfunded, misunderstood. And so for me, it's all about bringing the incredible marine animals and habitats to the surface and showing people just how extraordinary it is and how valuable it is and why we need to look after it and protect it. I studied aquatic science and natural resource management with a major in marine. Looking back at my time at Deakin, the things that really stood out to me was the sense of community and the people and the lecturers, they were so incredibly passionate and that's just infectious. You couldn't help but be excited. I think it's really tricky to talk about your achievements, but in terms of what I'm really proud of personally, is just not giving up. You know, some of the projects I've worked on, uh, a documentary on Port Phillip Bay, remember so many people telling me, well, no one's gonna be interested, there's nothing in, you know, Port Phillip. But I knew firsthand just how beautiful it was. And I thought, no, people need to see this. People need to see what's on their front doorstep. I finished my book, which sold out, and I secured over four and a half million in free media coverage, which I thought, well, that's not bad for a, an environment that people supposedly aren't interested in, and that has nothing to show. And then that came to life in a documentary, which screened on a major network, and we're now doing spin-off documentaries as a result of that. The power of storytelling is drawing people in and I do that in a way that translates the science in a format that is really entertaining and fun and engaging. So it's almost like education by stealth. When you talk about the environment, marine environment, climate change, I think it can create this paralysis because it's so massive that people become numb and they can't do anything. For me, it's about empowering people, exciting them, giving them a reason to care. Together, if we all do little things, we can create massive change. I'm not gonna be publishing any papers or winning a Nobel Prize, but if I can, you know, just make a little difference in the patchwork and be a part of that collective that shapes people's behavior and knowledge, then I can sit back and be pretty happy.